Blessed love, pleasant good evening, good afternoon. Warm welcome, Mindset Program. I just am your host. One more day above ground, and I want to greet the item in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I, the first, Empress Menin the first. Warm welcome, beautiful viewers and subscribers. Um, great to have the item here on the platform. Um, today, um, we have a special guest, and he's all the way from Ghana, West Coast of Africa, and um, it's it's really the first time I'm 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 coming across this um, virgin, and um, it's a virgin of mine from in Ghana who link I up with um you know this virgin Ras General. You see me, I say? So, um, he might have a story to tell, Zane, and you know, this is a mindset platform, and it's not like some why we like to tell stories, but um, true stories, Zane, and this virgin um, have a story to tell. Him go by the name of Lingwa Kiat, Zane, and he's all the way from Ghana. So I'm gonna introduce him to the mindset program. Blessed love my brother. Blessed love King. Yes and our family. Warm welcome. Great few of day here on the platform. Yes my brother. I'm saying great few of day on the platform, you know? Oh How thanks I'm honored to be on the world. I mean, I couldn't have it better than you calling me and trying to hear my story. So I'm on it. Yes, my king. Yes, I. So, all right. Um, talk, talk to me. Um, who, who is the I? You know what I mean? You know, give me a little bit of background knowledge of the I before um, we kind of get into um, the real issue that they I want to um, express. Right. Thank you for giving me this platform. My name from Beth, African name Kweku Obinga Mwako. That's the name that I grew up with. But true, me as an artist and me blessed with talent that Ja gave me. Mm -hmm. On stage I'm called Lingua Kiat. L-I-N-G-U-A-K-A-T. And I'm based here in Ghana. You know, See it. I do reggae, Afrobeat here in my hometown, Ghana, West Africa. And um, yeah, but been through a whole lot with his music, raise out talents, won awards, and still ongoing. And I have a project that I want the world to know about. All right, and so that's why I was related to you. Um. When 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 did the eyes start out in 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 the music overall? Not just reggae, you know, but you know, general um, music itself. When 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 did that um, start for the eye? Right, um, music really started straight from birth. You can't tell because hmm. I used to be in uh, junior high in Ashimota Junior so, High School. I used to be part of the entertainment crew, we'll go out and dance, we'll go out and make tune and come and perform for the students them. So I would say I had music. You, you, you did have locks them time there at Achimota School. <laughs> <laughs> why, why I laugh? <laughs> and when I just said Achimota School that will come up, 
No, I did not have locks. <laughs> I had locks when I met Ja. Mm. You know, when I got into the whole realm of Rastafari, knowing that I have been saved by the Most High. That's when I started growing my locks. And that has been about two decades ago. But when I was in school, I was, you know, Achimoto school got you taking off your locks. So I was <laughs> no more you would <laughs> without a locks. But then I was into entertainment. I used to dance. I used to do a little bit of raga because in our time was the time that we we got exposed to Shaba Ranks, Kati Ranks, mm-hmm. uh, Super Kiat, um, Buju Bantan, name it, Eka Mouse. All of them, Chunya, from 92, I used to have all this sensation and connection with Jamaica. So I, for instance, had a love from way when I was a youth, when I was about 12, 13 in junior high, I, I had that exposure. And that carried me on and spread me on to where I am now, you know, with my career as a reggae artist, dancehall artist. Rastafari. So, um, you, 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 well, you start out as as a reggae artist, or you start out as a um, Afrobeat artist. I start out as a dancehall artist, then I switch to reggae music when I fell in love with singing. You know, because the DJ took over my head when I was a youth, you know? So this is so, what, what year we're talking, like 90, okay, 91? We're about from 96. 96. Yes. That's when I really got into my elements about uh, Shaggy, um, CJ Lewis, you know? Yeah, yeah, look like we kind of have some breaking up there. No, into that bracket. But that's when the whole reggae DJ thing took over me. You mm. know? Yes, I. So um when when um you 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 started to 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 DJ, what was it like for the eye? Was it like um the I music playing on, on major radio stations in Ghana? You know, those those days them never accept we because them 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 would have just say, you know what, you're trying to be a foreigner in our own country and you're trying to let go of your country culture. But we, we, we never watched that because we knew black man culture transcends barriers, you know? Mm. It's the love for the culture, it's the love for the for the thing that kept we going. So those days, they've never given no platform. But straight with the talent, with the love and skill, and with the blessings of Celestia, we never back down. We just kept going, going, and going. To this day that we have tunes on radio where we can't even win ours with songs, you know? So it's been a tough road, but we have never given up to this day. Give thanks. Give thanks, my brother. Yes, I. Yeah, man. Give thanks that day. Um, no give up. You know what I mean? There's, you know, no giving up in 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 um this thing here. You see it. Great for you have the hype on the platform. So um, so what you say? In them days, there, yeah, they wouldn't give you the platform. So you yeah, talk about like. Um, the major radio station and TV and, and, and so on in Ghana, right? What, 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 what's different now? Why, why the, the major radio stations play reggae and, and, and stuff like that now? What, what has changed? Why, why what, they start what I, to accommodate? What I, what, what I would say from now and then that then a lot of people were not exposed and to just accept something that was in Ghanaian, it was hard to take. It was a few people that, true, if we did, that, we did that give up, we mm. wouldn't have come this far, where you can get Shatawale, Stone Boy, and Samini coming through and becoming a world brand for people to reckon with, whereby now the radio stations have nothing else but to allow us to show up the talent, even if we are not speaking the tree, the ga, the local dialect, but we are making sense 
and then we are spreading the message of love, unity, and everything, you know? So now people are more exposed because of the internet. People are more inclined to the vibration that is going on. So the platform itself opened up, you know? Whereby we have Sizzla coming through, Anthony B coming through, uh, Malan Asha coming through, Shaggy coming through, and now a whole lot of, a lot of people coming through to give the idea of performance in Ghana, you know? So your Timberlands came through, and now a whole lot of people yet to come through and still give we what we want. Mavado came through. So Ghana is now accept the whole culture of reggae dance without having to discriminate like always started it and and we couldn't break the barriers but we held the fat we carried the touch and we've kept the blaze until now that it's so common out there there you have all the people them are uh, the all them new artists old artist songs all over the radio stations now you know so that's been the perseverance that's kept this fire blazing to today that everybody, you know, everybody, even the local youth on the street has one tune from a Jamaican artist and another a next tune from a Ghana artist. And it's just love and vibe going on. Rastafari. All right, let we get to um the the the, the ice story, um the issue at hand. You know what I mean? What 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 the I um issue or what is a story that you want um you know people to know about what 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 is it that you want to express you know to the world right this is what i want to tell the world that we live in a country whereby negligence ignorance has characterized most of our state institutions mm. and people's lives are being lost, people are being maimed. Even when they go to seek for help or health or anything in this country. And my story becomes one of a kind. I'm still here, you man. Know? I'm still here. I'm a day I said with. What happened, what happened is when I was 15 years old, I, I had done my SH uh, junior high in Achimota. And for the world to know, I was born with rheumatism, so I'm rheumatic. Now and then I have pains in my joints, in my thigh, in my arm, but I had never experienced an attack like what I had when I was 15 years old. Mm. Unfortunately, then I had my dad around, so they took me to one of the top leading hospitals in Ghana by name Kwelebu Teaching Hospital. And then I was referred to the orthopedics department where I was shown to a doctor for consultation and everything. And I told the doctor that I was, I just woke up with pain and I can't do nothing about it. So this, this was, doctor this asked, is at what age? Oh, 15 years old. 15, okay. 15 years old. That was when I had my major attack. I had never experienced what a major attack with rheumatism was. That really took about three months to heal. So in this course, we went to the hospital, met the orthopedic surgeon because my dad thought that because I was a youth and I was so vibrant, I had probably done something that I was hiding. So probably blo broken my bone or broken my neck bone or something. But I told everybody that, no, I just slept, woke up and I had this severe pain. Just like the pain I used to have when I was a kid going to school and I would complain that I have a pain in my arm or something. This doctor took the x-ray. He saw, she saw nothing. Sorry, she was a female. She saw nothing wrong with me and yet prescribed me to a treatment called skin traction, whereby you put, they put bondage on your leg if you have a fracture. Mainly is, is, is for people with fractured bone mm. so that they don't move their legs. The bone don't really mess it gets on the target that they want and then it heals straight so that your bone don't shorten. They hang a weight over 25 kilos or 10 kilos or 15 kilos on your leg so that when it heals, your leg stays in the same position, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I never had a broken bone, never had one. 
had not had so any accident. Why would that be necessary? For that, I don't know. I don't know why she chose to do that to me. I don't so, know what she saw. So your your uh, your, your dad, what court. what did your what your car your parents was there, right? Yeah, my dad was with me. So your dad didn't query why because if you didn't have a broken bone, didn't your dad query why that was you know that was being applied to you? My dad was on the side of the medical um, professional, mm. thinking that I was telling a lie and that I was a stubborn kid and that I should listen to what everybody was saying. You know, in this African part of the world, when you can't challenge a grown up, you anything a grown up says is what it is. Mm. So when I was trying to defend myself by telling them, say, yo, I'm not with a broken bone. This is what I'm saying. I have pains, yes, but I never got anywhere to have an accident. My dad wouldn't listen. My mom wasn't around by then. She had traveled to a course somewhere because she was a headmistress. By the time she returned, I was already in, in hospital, admitted with this wrong treatment already being applied. So I had to sleep in the hospital for two months with this skin traction whereby a 15 kilo weight was placed on my leg. And actually, through that treatment, I have I came out with a twisted hip bone. Mm -mm. I wow. slept in the hospital for two months. This female doctor that admitted me to the hospital never checked on me, never came to the hospital to find out where I was. I had I have never even seen her again to today. So they didn't do an X-ray to find out if you had a broken bone. That's what I when I when I began I said that we took an X-ray. The doctor saw the X-ray. She knew there was nothing wrong. She saw the X-ray that there was nothing wrong. I told the whole world that day that the X-ray she was looking and she said no probably. The x-ray couldn't show where the fracture was. And still she insisted that that was a treatment I was supposed to have. That is bad. That is. And when I came out terrible. of the hospital, now that I'm, I'm back from the hospital for the past 26 years, because I'm 41 right now, and just about this year, I had complications with my leg. So when I went back to the hospital, they asked me to go for an um, C, uh, CT, IR, MIR scan and an X-ray. And it came out that my hip bone indeed has been affected from the treatment. And now I need to pay $5,000 to get it corrected. But don't you think if 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 they um, make such a mistake, um, if 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 they made such an an error and 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 their part and causing that error, shouldn't they be the one that um, compensating you and in 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 some form or you know for cause that cause that is a life um, changing. Um, injury. I, 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 I would guess that you know it would be them that um, um, would be paying you. And it's right out the other way around. This is what is happening, and this is why I need to tell my story to the world. I need to make it so loud enough, so get the proper this seen that they have caused. This is why I'm trying to sell my story to any platform so that the world will know that a lot of people are living here in same misery, no fault of this, and yet they have no redress. We are living in a failed state. 
with failed institutions and nobody takes responsibility for anything that they do. They don't take responsibility. They are unwilling to take, even when I went to the hospital to get my old docket out to see who the doctor is, they have thrown all these documents away. They don't even have any document wow. from that time. To no record. No record. No document. We well, said so they have no record of what took place. Um, of what took place, of what time. Wow. Nothing. And then I heard that once it's over seven years, you are not eligible to sue that institution. That's over 20 odd years now, isn't it? 26 odd years. Mm. So what 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 what's what's gonna what's what's gonna um what's gonna happen? You know, what what what's so caused, take if if it seems like it's it's um two issue that has been created there. Um one where you didn't have a broken leg and um now an issue with um your 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 hip because of what was applied because you didn't have a broken leg so it's 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 i don't know if it's incompetency or you know I, I I don't know, but you know I'm I'm really sorry to to um you know to hear this, my brother. Seriously, um, that you, that you're in this in 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 this position, you know. Um, what 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 do you expect? What 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 you want for him? Talk to the people, them. Talk to the people, them. I listen to you. This is my this is my stand right now. Through this my story, I'm trying to raise awareness first of how incompetent, the role of being negligent and ignorant in our state institutions in this country, how they don't even have any form of redress. They don't even have any form of assistance. Now I have to come up and pay this $5,000 if I want my state to change. They don't care how I raise the money. They don't, they are not even thinking about how, what they will do to support me. So I have a project called Feel the Pain to raise awareness for the voiceless and the less powerful who are in a situation like I am or even worse off to give them hope that yes, probably didn't happen to you, it didn't happen to me, I will use my case to be the torch that will burn for others across board in this country so that people like us or me will have that strength to have a story to say somewhere. And if they can get help from anywhere in this world, any help, we will be so grateful to to, to have an angel come into our life and change this around. Because I'm going through one of the toughest times in my life, having to go and pay for something I never cost. Let, me ask, you, let, let, let me ask you this. Let, let me ask you this, my brother. Um, when you went to the hospital, um, you, you didn't... You didn't have any broken leg. No. You didn't have any disability. No. No. And I never had. And and after you come from the the after what took place at the hospital, then you had a disability. Yes. Now I walk with a limp. 
and with a twisted hip bone. And that was never there before. Never there before. I used to play a soccer in my in my youthful days. I used to have a club in my area. I used to play for. I I, I used to dance. I used to do everything as an able-bodied person with no ability, no form of disability. And 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 now you have a a, a disability um, from yes from someone um, incompetence or, or, sure. or negligence. So um, sure. who, who, in, in Ghana, who are you speaking to, um, to, to, to to get your case heard, to, you know what I mean, to, 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 to hear your story? Who, who, who are you speaking to? Right now, I just started this whole awareness of my plight. That's when my brother linked up with you and we're linking up with other people. I've tried to contact so many people Nobody's listening to me still, but I'm not giving up. I will fight this and I will make sure that I'm heard. First of all, and I'm heard well. I try to link people through their Instagram message. Uh, nobody's replying me, not even the media yet. I just had one radio station, TV station call me yesterday and told me they're going to put me on the platform the coming week, which is from Monday. Mm. They're called Kesbin FM TV. So that's been my first point from where I'm going to start advocating and then telling the world about my story from my country. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yeah, man. Um... Is a sad, is a is a sad, sad situation. To you know, I I I I can um, I I can relate with the in some in some sense, you know. Yeah, I can relate with the my brother in some sense, and um, I I I hope the I get um the 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 help. That the I need in you know what I mean going going forward, you know, cause I know it 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 can't be um a, a, a easy thing, you know, especially in this time of of um the pandemic or pandemic or whichever way they want to term it, you know what I mean. I know it cannot be um a easy going um uh do. Do you have family members around you or, 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 or you? I you know. passed away 15 years ago, but my mom is still alive and she's pretty old now, 76 years. But she's, uh, she's around. I have my brothers around, you know. I have, I have family, but you know, sometimes if I don't start this and I don't push it so hard, Nobody feels the pain like I do. Mm. So I'm determined, with or without them, to make this story well known. So, um, because I was reading an article about the eye still, and, um, and, and uh, I, see, I see a lot of things that was expressed um, in the article. So... Um, one of the things that I see is um, the the you know this disability now has uh, prevented the eye in many ways, and you know the eye has lost out on many opportunities in 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 life. You know what I mean? Um, the the the, the you. You're still doing reggae music, or is that something you're looking to come back into? I, I don't know what what what. I'm still I'm still in my reggae music. I'm still pushing my my brand so hard in the music. 
you know, that they can't take from me. Mm. But my youthful sports days, because I told you I used to be a very good soccer player. When this thing happened, it just cut off. Wow. I could do no more sports. But my music is, unless my voice is off. So I've tried a lot. I've won awards. I just got even nominated for first African awards with some of my songs that I released 2020. Wow. And I have wow. an album is still in circulation and then still in rotation on some of the RFM stations. I have written songs for artists that have gone global. Oh. Yes, so mine has never been curtailed. I wasn't actually pursuing this so much till I realized that I needed to correct this from a complication that had just started occurring to me on the same leg that this incompetent with her negligence caused, which is now the focus that I have to find that 5,000 US dollars to go and fix what she messed up. Is, 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 is that an easy thing for the eye to find? That's going to be very hard, but I'm in consultation with people. They are telling me to create a GoFundMe page. Okay. They are going to make me tell story. We're going to see how best we can raise the money for the surgery to, to, to take place. What about some of um yeah man, I think you 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 should you should create that, you know what I mean, and and um get some assistance and you know, ones here on the platform, you know, um if they are them can assist in any shape or form, you know, in any way monetary, you know, please do, you know. Um there will be a this there will be a number or you know email address um, in the description. You know what I mean? You know, or probably when the GoFundMe is set up also, that will be there so um, the item can um, you know support through that. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. Um, you know, give the brother some love and some support. You know, it's a family thing, and that's why we're here. You know what I mean? Supporting our brother, you know, from Earth to Zion. So, yeah, my brother. Um, so, what about even some of um, some of the, 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 the people um, you work with um, in the music? Because, you know, you say you, 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 you write songs for artists that um, has gone global. So, uh, you know, I don't know uh, what, what type of support, you know, would the I be getting from some of those virgins? Well, well, so like I just said, we just started this whole awareness with all the velocity that I can. So I'm going to go around mm -hmm. with a camera mm -hmm. to hear support from some of the people that I grew up with, like Samini, Stoneboy, Shatawali, and then a couple of them that I really know as brothers to, to use a voice to back me probably even if they can't even support me financially with their voice and they're telling the world to support this course will help me. And the bars don't even stop with my surgery. I don't want to, to be the guy that always just thinks about me. I really wish that what I do, even if mine is corrected, we could still extend this to other folks that don't have that voice or would they even get the platform to let people hear what they're going through? I don't want the boss to stop with me at all. True, true, my brother. Yes, I, I hear the loud and clear, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But um, I'm sure them bridging the, um, you know, could give the higher strength to said we, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um at 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 present at 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 present now 
is in 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 your in your present state um or 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 you surviving or or they are surviving you know right i do i do a little bit retail at my home i sell building cement i sell drinks you know fruit drinks for kids um, kids and parties so I have a little job that I do on the site to support me and my music. You know, in Africa, if you're not really popular and so popular, your music don't really bring in income because you don't get the massive streams and things like the other artists out there where are big like that. And I've been ditched, even through people writing songs for people who have made it big. I was ditched and all that. But like I say, I never give up. I will never give up on myself. No, no, anything that I'm doing. So, true a little bit work here, a little bit work there. I've been able to go through the hospital again, try get what I can get to where I have to be the surgeon on the fifteenth of this month to give me a proper roadmap on what is needed, how much is needed to get the surgery done, and. What I want the world to know is that I'm not going back to the hospital to get the surgery done. I will try my best to be flown outside this country to get the best care that I can get, to look right and proper, like how I used to be when I was a youth. You know? Yes, I. Yes, I. So what what you're saying? Um, the, the the facilities is not there. Um, the, the the proper facilities is not there in in Ghana, because I know you, you have some it's excellent open. doctors, um, excellent Ghanaian doctors and nurse and you know in those fields. I just lost confidence. This, this is this is the the new CT MRI X ray scan that I did. So I have my document here to prove that I really need a surgery and a referral letter is all in this. I don't know if you can see them nicely, reading my name and everything and a date. And I have my x-ray and everything here, but I don't, I don't believe you can see. I don't know if anybody can see it. You realize that there's no broken bone in the x-ray. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah. See, you, my I brother. don't have any trust in any facility in Ghana. Once bitten, twice shy. I don't. I'm just going to see the surgeon for him to tell me whatever he's got for me. Then I'll tell him what my decisions are. For me, I don't have any faith in what they do around here. Even our politicians don't even have faith in our health. Uh, facilities that they put out here for us. Anytime they are sick, they, they fly outside the country mm. with taxpayers to get the best of care and leave us to rot in this incompetent professional health workers that we have here. Wow. No, man, Africa have to be better than that, man. What you're saying, come. I don't know. Africa must be better than that. And, uh, you know, and, uh, based on what you're saying, you know, can it be so worse, so bad? But I, I, I get the point where you're coming from with um, heads of states. You know, it, they, they fly out to, you know what I mean? Because I read those things in, in articles all the time. You know, so I do understand where you're coming from that, you know, you'd want the best and probably the best is outside of, of, of you know, your country as what you're saying. So, uh, I could tell you that story right now. You'd be so sad in your life. About a month ago, a pregnant lady was supposed to be transferred from one end to our next hospital. When the um, ambulance approached, they told her that she needed to pay 600 Ghana cities, that's $100.
before the ambulance would transport her to the next hospital. Rather, oh, unfortunately, she couldn't sleep and she died. Jew, this is like yeah. a month ago. Wow. This is how bad, this is how bad our country is. You serious, man? I'm too serious about that. Too serious about this. It made the news. Yeah. That the National Army take people for free to hospitals. Charge this lady a hundred dollar before she was picked. And she died on the way because she had no hundred dollar. Mm -mm. Boy. Yeah, my people. When I, when I, when I, when I, when I hear it from a virgin that is there in in Ghana, and you know he's 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 here with us, uh, sharing his 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 story. Then um, we're gonna do some, we're gonna seal up, you know, him, him, you know, allow him to um, you know, share, you know, his his his. I don't want to say last words or final words, but um, closing words, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, yeah, my brother, you know, express again, you know, where you want to be done and what you want to, you know, what you want to um, achieve from this, what you want to, you know, what type of awareness you want to raise from it. And, you know, yeah, man, just express to the people, yeah, my brother. And we close, you know. So well, this is what I'm trying to say. That it could be you, it could be me. Nobody knows the next second what might happen. You might have blessed me with the love and care, but it doesn't end with me. There are a lot of people like me and worse off than me in the same situation. If you can't even support financially, any day that you make a post on any social media platform, just hit the hashtag feel the pain at least it goes so much to support the voiceless the powerless the disability that has caused people so much and they're living in pain and with pain i want to be who i was when i was growing up and i'll go to the full length of my strength to make sure i correct this if you can support me I'll put out my GoFundMe soon so that you can connect with me. You can reach me out on every social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll give you my handles. You can connect with me. It's L-I-N-G-U-A-K-A-T on Facebook and on Twitter. And if you want to reach me on Instagram, it's G-H. L I N G U A K A T G H. That's on Instagram. Connect with me. You can change your life. You can make a the world a better place for somebody who really needs it. My plea is to everybody to listen to my story and know that it's all is not well. But with the love and support of the item and the bridging all around the world. We can make this world a better place for you and I. Rastafari. Yes, my brother. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope um, they I, um, get the assistance that um, they are, you know, they are is agitating for. And, um, you know, we pray that... Um, you get those assistants, you know, and you can correct uh, the issue that you're having um, right now, you know. So um, we, 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 we pray, you know, you know, the most high, you know, guidance and protection, you know, in any form of surgery in the future that you're going to go on down, you know what I mean? We ask him for yeah, guide and protect the eye, you know what I mean, and give the eye more strength and, you know what I mean, more courage, you see it, yeah, man. So, 
more love and strength, my brother, in your endeavors. And um, I hope the I them out there, as I say, can um, give some some support to the virgin here. See? So, manners and respect, yeah. my brother. Um, peace and love. It was um, good to hear. Bless for your plan. I'm blessed for the love and attention you've given to me and my plight. Yes, sir. It's it's an honor. It's an honor. Yeah, man, and a privilege, my brother. So, you know, we give thanks. Zin? Yeah, man. Always. More love and strength. And, um, yeah, man, more strength. More strength. Blessed love. Rastafari. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Yes, my people. So, um, yeah, man. Right there, so right there. Um, yeah, so the item on um, the on the next on the next video. You know, give thanks um, every time. See, peace and love. Subscribe, See you on the next video. I just got my mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just got the mindset.